Yeah, I can see it on your face. You ain't been feeling away. You're getting kind of dismayed. And feeling dismayed is kind of insane. I wanna talk what you done. Had me thinking that you were the one. Kind of shit that to you it was fun to take all my love and leave me with none. So I bought some new lenses from this website called Lens Pop. I've never seen it before in my life. It just popped up on my Instagram sponsored feed post. I've only used lenses from Lensis, Olens, um, Idol Lens. So these are all the brands that I've never heard of before. It's called Lens Vary, this brand. I got one in olive brown, um, grey. I also got this Lens Vary Blendy series. And I got Blendy Grey and Blendy Brown. But I kind of felt like I got scammed for this one because usually in one pack of lens there's one pair. But this one, there's only one lens. So when it said buy one get one free, you're essentially just getting one pair of lenses. So I didn't feel very good after finding it out when I opened it. Natural brown lenses from this brand called Clay Lens. I've never heard of these brands before. I think it's because I bought quite a lot. They gave me free lenses. So Susie Gray and Susie Brown. And these are also from the brand called Clayland. And I also got this Tinkerberry series um, gray. This one was really pretty. The graphic dyes are only 13.5. I think that's pretty big to be honest. I usually wear like 13.2. There's also this silhouette series from Lensberry as well. So this one is cream beige, the yellow one. And the orange one is sheer brown. And if you can see on the packaging, there's like this um, outline around the lens, which I really like. I always go for lenses that have an outline. I bought these lenses today to wear. These are the Scandi, Olen Scandi type clear lenses, just because I wanted to do something like bright spring slash summery look. But I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should wear this one or that one. You know what? Change your plans. I want to try out this one. I want to try out the silhouette cream beige today. This one looked really good too. I haven't tried out the Scandi light grey yet. I've tried the other colours and they're really nice. The lens diameter is 14.2 and the graphic dia is 13.3 millimeters. I think 13.3 is enough to make my eyes like naturally bigger, I think. And also today I'm gonna try and get rid of this and this with concealer because this is from either a mosquito or a breakout that turned into a scab and this turned into this was a pimple or something it was like a breakout that happened like two days ago and i touched it again this morning so it's like turned like red and when i press down onto it it really hurts so yeah i was gonna wait until my skin clears up to film this get ready with me but I couldn't wait any longer, so here I am filming it now. Please excuse my disgusting skin at the moment. I think it's like the perfect size for me. It's like not too big and just natural. Okay, so my lenses are in and I quite like them. It's nice. Mole. Oh my god. So I'm going to be using these three skincare products today. The toner, serum, and the moisturizer. Big green alcohol-free nature toner. This one isn't too watery, which I kind of like actually. Like I've only been using watery toners, but this one, it kind of sits on your face better. And it also hydrates a lot faster onto your skin than other toners that I've used. Plus, it's vegan and made with natural ingredients, so I've just been using it every day. And then I'm going to be using the serum. And this serum is also a pretty thick car texture. It really firms my skin. I can feel it as soon as I put it on. I also got morning delivery from OEM. I got two shopping bags with new clothes and I wanted to do a haul at the end of the video and show you guys what I got from OEM. I also like how these products are unscented, so if you're sensitive to scent, 
I really recommend it. I'm just so excited to cover up these pimples. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be using this sunscreen. The Neutrogena Hydro Blue sunscreen. I've been using this just cause it's... Just cause I have it. No other reason. I don't really know if it's good or bad. I just use it. I used to use only the Cosrx sunscreen. But I ran out of that. So I've just been using this one. I'll be using the NYX. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> NYX. Um, color corrector. And to be honest, I only use this color. <laughs> I use the salmon color for my under eyes. Because my dark circles are very bad. Let me tell you that this color corrector does wonders to your dark circles it's so good in the beginning i don't really know why people use color correctors but after using it myself i realized the importance of it and then you can already see the difference how my eyes look so much brighter and i don't look as tired anymore I highly recommend this it wasn't that expensive either i got it from amazon and I was looking for just like this 70 color for my dark circles but I ended up just getting the whole palette because I couldn't find anything else I've only been using this primer I'm satisfied with one product I just end up using that all the time so I got this recently and I showed you in one of my lockdown vlogs So after going over my concealer one time, I'm going to be using this mist because my skin is very very dry. I haven't been able to cover this mosquito slash pimple, I don't even know what it is, but it's like still pretty red at the moment. And you know how when something's really dry, when like a pimple's dry, it kind of like forms a ring around it? when you put a concealer on it. That's what's happening right now. I'm gonna try putting a layer of concealer on after putting on the foundation. So let me tell you about this product. So I got this just cause it looks pretty. I've done my research obviously before getting it cause it is not a cheap product at all. It's like nearly $100. I was doing my research and one thing I was really cons confused about was the shade. Cause obviously it runs different from Korean cosmetics and I had to search up different reviews like especially Korean reviews um, comparing the usual Korean shade and this dual shade and a lot of reviews said product dries up quickly and it doesn't last very long compared to its price so I was really hesitant on buying this part but I ended up getting it because I wanted a pretty cushion and I wanted a cushion that I wouldn't use for a foundation like this I wanted a cushion that I would use just to like touch up when I'm outside I've tried using the SD Lauder longwear foundation because my friend recommended it to me and I even ordered that from Maya last year but I haven't opened it yet because I'm still using the sample that they gave me for that foundation the coverage is okay I think it's pretty good but it's very dry for my skin and especially when you wear a mask it's terrible I got these four lip products recently these two are from Roman and one from Chanel and one from Peripara so I haven't bought a Peripara product in ages it's the Peripara Ink the Tattoo number 2 it was just like a really bright colour that I usually wouldn't try it out so I decided to get it damn it's very bright and also the colour changes a bit it turns from like a coral red to a more pink colour I think it'll be really nice to wear in the summer and it smells nice it smells like the the plum juice Basically, the lipstick's called tattoo for a reason I just tried washing it off and it's still there it's still pink on my finger so for the two Roman lipsticks that I got Red Drive and Shell Nude and this one's a recent shade that came out it looks like a really pretty beige colour for a base so I got it so a lot of Koreans rave a lot about 
like um, personal colors. Personally, I'm really into it. I've been doing a lot of research around it and trying to find out for sure what personal color I am. And so far, I think I'm an autumn mute. I don't suit like full autumn colors like burgundy, khaki, brown, but I do suit beige and just lighter tone colors. This one's Shell Nude and this one's Evening Drive. Try the Shell Nude shade. I don't think it's a color that I can wear by itself. I definitely need something to layer on. I'm gonna put on this Para Para lipstick. So before I set my makeup with finishing powder, I'm gonna be putting one more layer of concealer. My dark circles. This is where I want to brighten it up a bit because I do have like kind of dark patches around my mouth as well as under my nose. Also, so I usually go over it after doing foundation with another layer of concealer just so that I know everything's all covered. And I like doing this part without putting any mist on the cushion just so that it. Kind of slaps right into the skin especially if you want to cover up a pimple because sometimes if you use a mist it separates the concealer from the area that you want to put it on and it doesn't cover up properly so this is usually what i do and i'm gonna go in again on this one just because it's very visible we're just kind of gently patting on it skin makeup is all done and finally I can go in with my finishing pack so as always I like to use this art class finishing pack and I nearly hit the pen Dazi palette it's a shadow palette in number three nude potion so this palette has nine different shades it has matte shimmer glitter and I like to usually go in with this shade for my base and usually for the base I just use my fingers but I realize that I just have the lipstick that I just tried out I'm gonna use a brush today just because I have this pink on my finger and I feel like out of all the palettes I've used this one fits best with my skin also kind of giving me a confirmation that I am an autumn me but at the same time I'm like I think it's been a very long time since I've showed you how I put my mascara and everything on because <laughs> I always have lash extensions. So one of my main confusion of just growing up with makeup was if I put on a lot of makeup, like when I take photos, it won't show. So I was really confused about that. And I thought I was putting on a lot of eye makeup, but I still couldn't see it in photos. But it turns out that I wasn't putting on enough eye makeup. <laughs> My eye makeup was too light. Lighter beige shade. I'm running out of battery. Okay, I'm back. So much easier using a tripod. I only realized today, I never used a tripod like this before to film my videos. use like a gorilla pod on my desk so it's just much easier filming while standing up as well so these days I like putting on my lipstick first before doing my eye makeup so that I know um, what kind of eye makeup I should do to complement the lip my lashes are so short also because I've been getting eyelash extensions for the past year and I've been trying to grow it out. I've been using a serum, like a lash serum, but it's pretty hard. So just until the eyelid fold, I'm putting on this darker shade, this one. I highly recommend this palette. Everything is like a nude, beigey based color. So with my eye brow pencil, I'm just going to draw a line. Just underneath my eye bags to make my eye bags pop up more. I don't know what you call it in English. Your egg or 
Oh my god, so I'm really excited because I got a financial mold. I don't know how to pronounce it. Financial? Financial? Mold? Which is like a French dessert. It sort of tastes like a Madeleine. I've only had a chocolate financier before at Lab Bakery in Strathfield. They had like the massive ones, but I bought like a medium sized mold that has 12 in it. I couldn't find any um, metal molds, so the only thing that I could find that ships to my house is from like, it was from this bakery store that's based in Victoria. And they only had the silicon red mold, so I ended up getting it anyway because that was like the only thing that I could find. A lot of you guys enjoyed my previous vlog that I uploaded. It was like a baking special vlog and a lot of people have been asking the recipe for the pancakes as well. So I might film another one later on making pancakes currently. It's really good that recipe because you can make like six different flavors or four different flavors in one mixture you just go make like one main mixture and just separate it into different bowls and then add the different topping ingredients like Earl Grey, chocolate, matcha etc. The part financier is that you have to make it with egg whites and it's just a lot of ingredient consuming because you gotta use a lot of eggs. The difference between the financier and Madeline is that financier you burn the butter and Madeline you just melt the butter. For the Madeleines, you gotta like butter the pan and put it in the fridge so that it, the shape turns out better and that was a big sleep to me. Also for Madeleines, you have to keep it in the fridge for an hour before you cook it. But for finance, you, know, you don't need to put it in the fridge. So I guess they each have like pros and cons. So this is not the makeup that I was intending today at all. I wanted to do like a blue lens makeup for summer. I saw this one and I really wanted to try out these lenses. And me just naturally reaching out for the beige palette. Maybe I am a warm autumn mood tone. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Just filling it up naturally in some areas because my eyebrow tattoo is disappearing and then I will do my mascara now I'm going to be using this Shimura eyelash primer whenever I do my eye makeup I get really quiet so please excuse me while I do my eye makeup accelerator mascara with Abic Grow Lash Complex so my neighbors are out right now in the backyard and it's like right next to my bedroom window so it might be a little noisy I'm just gonna brush a little bit off on a tissue just to remove excess product So the lash serum I've been using is the Lash Accelerator and I've been using it for two weeks and I think it's pretty good. So I've realized that there's another mascara line that has serum in it, which is why I decided to try this one out. And it's my first time using it today and I really like it. It's pretty good actually. Like it doesn't clump up at all. I usually don't use like drugstore makeup products but I think this one's pretty good. I'm not gonna do my under lashes today, just my top lashes. I feel like I only use this product so you guys are probably sick of seeing this by now. 
I'm gonna blend these two shades and just go around my cheek area. I'm mixing the little and the darker shade together for the nose contour. I definitely like this shade better than the original one that I've been using. This one and this one. This is the original one, this is a new modern shade. So this one's definitely less orange and less strong brown. Like this one, whenever I use it, I sometimes felt like it was too much for my skin tone, but this one is just perfect. So I've been using this one and I don't know how I use the other one. It's just so orange for my skin. And definitely the modern palette, it can build up the color more and you can always like contour layer make it darker but for the other one oh my god one layer was enough because it was just so dark don't tell me they're in the pool mm, nice i just like curling my lashes after i do mascara so that it fixes right up like this it moves so I can't take it anywhere with me outside <gasps> and I just dropped it oh my god every time I film videos something bad happens so this is the product <laughs> I really like this shade because it gives you like a natural peachy flush so this is a perfect amount of blush for me, but in the camera, you can't really see it. So I'll put on another layer. I vacuumed my room yesterday, but it's already really dirty because I just dropped that blush. You guys have no idea how early I wake up today. Early for me is 10.30am, just because I've been sleeping at 5am and waking up at like 1pm these days. I had the OEN delivery this morning and so I woke up early for that but it's good because now I can film with you ready with me and I also have the sun out for longer because every time because I wake up so late I see the sunlight for like two hours and the sun already starts setting I think it looks so much better with that extra layer of conceal under my eyes So I'm gonna get changed, I'll be back. I can see it on your face. You went been feeling away. You're getting kinda of dismayed, feeling dismayed, it's kind of insane. I wanna talk what you done. Had me thinking that you were the one. Kinda of shifted to you, it was fun to take all my love and leave me with 